Hello, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch. I hope you are doing really well. Just a few days ago, my friend Ron Durant and I, we hiked to a few waterfalls and I made uh, one of the shots that we made at, I think it was Upper Piney Falls. I made this photograph and it had a lot of uh, somewhat complicated processing involved with it. Let's go to a small clip from that video and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Back over here on the side where the trail comes down right up there and uh, making some shots. I'm in these, these beautiful plants. I've got my polarizer on, which is making their colors really rich and making some shots from here. Um, I probably should have taken the time to put a three stop neutral density on because I either have a good silky waterfall or uh, no blinkies but not both so i took a bunch of shots with no blinkies and the waterfall is not quite silky enough and i may combine them together i don't know we'll see so that is what i did to make this photo there were 10 shots at one eighth of a second each and i combined them together and put them in photoshop in a stack and i blended them taking the mean which that gave the waterfall a nice silky look like it was a one and a quarter second shot instead of an eight tenths of a second shot. But when I did that, the plants had moved around a lot during those eight shots. So I then stacked a one of the eighth of a second shots on top of that photo. And then I painted in the silky waterfall from the photo below it. And that's how I ended up with this shot. One of my favorites of the day. So like I said, I took 10 photographs of one eighth of a second each and I kind of combined those together and then I took the mean and then the plants were still looking like they were moving. So I stacked a picture on top and I thought, gosh, that's a whole lot of stuff to describe without showing how I did it. Uh, you know, and some people who do a whole lot of photography will know exactly what I'm talking about, but others may be going, what in the world is Phil talking about? So I thought today I'm going to get on the computer and show you exactly how I combined those eight images into one image and made the waterfall smooth and the plants uh, not wiggling around. So let's go to Lightroom and Photoshop now. Okay, here we are in Lightroom and these are the 10 photos I made of the waterfall and I made them just right in a row and you can see they're each one eighth of a second. And really, you know, I was kind of happy with the one eighth of a second shot. It does have a, a fairly silky look. But I wanted it to look a little bit more silky, so I've got one shot at one eighth of a second, and another one, and another one, and as you can see, each one of these one eighth of a second shots, the waterfall looks a little bit different, and also the plants. These plants don't move around much, nor does this tree over here, but these plants over here on the right, and, and this one, these here kind of closer to the waterfall, as you look at all these pictures, you can see those things are really moving around quite a bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is highlight all 10 of our pictures and we're gonna to go to photo, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And now you can see our layers are loading in over here. And once all 10 layers get loaded, we're gonna highlight the first layer, hold down shift and tap on the last layer. And now they're all highlighted. Once they are all highlighted, we'll go to Layer, Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. And that'll take a little bit of processing time, not too long. Then we'll go back to Layer, Smart Objects, Stack Mode, Mean. Again, a little bit of processing time as we render the image stack as a mean. Bingo. All of a sudden, instead of having 10 one eighth of a second photos of the waterfall, we have one one and a quarter second. Because if you add an eighth of a second up, multiply it by 10, you get one and a quarter seconds. And that's what the waterfall would look like in one and a quarter seconds. So that's the good news. The bad news is these plants that we're moving around, as we saw when we flipped through those 10 pictures, they are all blurry. The waterfall looks like we want it, but the plants look blurry. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go to layer and flatten image. And that will make that image a lot easier to deal with back over here in Lightroom. I've kind of looked through these photos and this one that I gave five stars 
is the one that I um, thought the plants looked the best in. So we're going to take that and edit in Photoshop. So now in Photoshop, this on the left is our eight pictures combined into one. And this one is the one that we like the way the plants look on. So using this tool, you know, we don't want to use the text tool. Let's use this tool right here. And we're going to click and hold on this and go up here and wait just a moment until it switches pictures. They're going to drag this photo back and drop it right on top of the other photo. And now we have the background, which if we turn that layer off, you'll see that the background is our nice waterfall with our plants that don't look good. And the picture that's stacked on top of that is our waterfall that doesn't look good with the plants that do look good. Next thing we're going to do is go to our layer and we're going to put a mask on it. And you do that by clicking right here. And now we have a mask. And the next thing we're going to do is paint on the layer. Make sure that the, the layer is not highlighted. The mask is highlighted and we're going to paint in black. And what happens when you paint in black is it, when you paint on this layer mask in black, it lets the background come through. So you can just watch as I paint, look, the, suddenly the waterfall looks nice and slick. So what we're doing is we're letting the background layer come through and making the waterfall have that one and a quarter second look, but we're leaving these plants over here having the eighth of a second look. And I think I'm going to go ahead and, and um, let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to paint this whole pool so it'll have a one and a quarter second look instead of an eighth of a second look. I'm trying to make sure as much of this is nice and slick. And you can see over here the black that we've painted on this layer. That is the area where we're letting this background layer come through. So the next thing to do is to take that layer once we've got it all done and flatten it. And then we can take that and save it. And then we can go back over to Lightroom and here it is. Right here is the image we've just made that has the smooth, uh, not wiggling plants, but the nice smooth one and a quarter second version of the waterfall and then you can take that and edit it to taste. But that is how I made those 10 images uh, with a short exposure look like one image with a long exposure in some areas and look like one image with a short exposure in other areas. Kind of the best of both worlds. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, if you didn't know how to do that sort of thing that it helped you out with it. And if you did know how to do it, I hope you enjoyed watching me bumble my way through it. And as always, I thank you very much. I would appreciate a thumbs up if you like the content. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see some more. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.